Tua Tunga Viola. I'm getting Good used to saying time. his last name. I think I I'm know. doing okay. Um, he had another very good game. Two touchdowns, no interceptions, in a good win, really good win, over the Chargers. And I know the Chargers aren't winning many games. I was going to say, they haven't beaten anybody too many people, Chris. So, I don't – I mean – No, nah, but they, they're a pretty good team. They play everybody close. You know what I mean? Yeah, but – You got to win be some of those, with that. they're tough. Because my only thing is, it's funny, my friends who I text with from high school, they were talking about the Giants. Oh, the Giants are like the best three and seven team, and they're always, it's always close. But in, in the NFL, most games, Chris, are decided by five to seven points. So it ain't really about being close. Like, you got to win games. That's all I'm saying. Like, like that's I not told a barometer. You the Giants were going to beat the. Philadelphia Eagles. No, I, you called they, it. I, you know, but they, I was stunned I mean, by I, that. I think you're right. I think I'm just there's saying, a you got to be careful about. Saying. Yeah, right. that, that, at some point you got to start winning games. You got to win games. You can't be like, well, they're real close. Oh, you know, if another play here or there, they would be right. seven and three, not three and seven. No, there's a reason why you're three and seven. But there, I think a, with the Chargers, the fact that it's a young rookie quarterback and he's playing well, and then they're close in these games, I think that's part of why. People are a little more, you know, think they're playing better because they've been in these close games. But, but your point is well taken. Look at the bottom of the, at the end of the day, you got to win games. Right. A lot of these teams are close. A lot know, of games are other. close. Right. That's what and I'm that's saying. And that's why like, you see, you know, you see a team that was really good a year ago, and then they're not that good. I mean, the Chargers a couple years ago. Yep. Were they were really ready. Good. They were ready to go to Super Bowl, Chris. That was like two it. years ago. And then they fell off, and and they haven't gotten their stride back yet. But anyway, Tua. Goes 15 for 25, 169 yards. Obviously nothing Right, nothing to write home about. But two touchdowns, no picks. He's 3-0 and now as a starter. He, he had another 100-plus passer rating. And um, so in his three starts, he's completed 63% of his passes, 510 yards, five touchdowns, no picks. All right, so, so not bad. Uh, he was asked if – his transition to the NFL, kind of what it's been like. Here's what he said. We don't have sounds. Here's what he said. He said it pretty I quietly because I didn't it. hear him. Oh, okay. <laughs> he whispered it. <laughs> he whispered it in my ear, and I'm going to relay oh, wow. it to the people. Okay, no. all right. He said, I expected it to be a lot harder. Not that it's not hard. I'd say I'm comfortable. But a lot of that starts from practice. He went on to give his team and his coaches a lot of credit for getting him ready. I want to focus, though, on I expected it to be a lot harder. And I'm not saying that he is, you know, taking it lightly like, oh, this is easy. You know, I'm about to roll. I mean, by all accounts, Rob, he's a good kid, high character, and I he works hard. So I assume he's going to keep working hard. But I would caution Tua and even everyone else who is making a huge deal out of his start. He's playing well. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, and Miami is playing well. I'm, I'm upset because I thought about, Rob, picking them as like a team to make the playoffs, which obviously would have been a big pick because, you know, when we did our preseason picks, because they looked good last year at the end of the year under Brian Flores. He's obviously becoming a really good coach. But I didn't go there, but now I'm, I'm kicking myself because they look they look like a really good team. But you have to be careful with evaluating these young quarterbacks right off the bat. And even you got to give them a little time, you know, before we, we say that they're, you know, going to be a, a, a pro bowl, perennial pro bowler or perennial all pro. And I'm, I'm pointing to... Say, like, let's start with Lamar Jackson, who was phenomenal last year. Well, and you, even you don't his, become... first six, his first year, his last six games, he, they won. You right. know, they got him to the playoffs. They were struggling under Joe Flacco. What he did last year can never be taken away from him. And he certainly hasn't fallen off. You know, he's, he's still a good, very good quarterback. But the league has adjusted, and now he's going to have to really – adjust as well. He's going to have to grow. He's going to have to adjust and going to have to add some things to his game. Like at this point, Rob, as great as he was last year, you can't say 
he's going to be a perennial all-pro quarterback at this point. Because right now, and I know all-pro is different from Pro Bowl, but right now, I mean, he wouldn't make the Pro Bowl. In the AFC, you got, uh, obviously, Pat Mahomes. You got Ben Roethlisberger. You got Josh Allen. They're all having better years. You right. know, and, and, and There's so, only three spots, right? Aren't right. Well, I think spots? two. Init- I think and two. An alter- but an, an and alternate. then there's alternates, you know, as, as guys right. get hurt. So, but, yeah. So, and then we go to Carson Wentz, who a few years ago, 11-2, and two, obviously taking the league by storm. They look great. He was look likely going to be the MVP and got injured and hasn't been the same since. And now, I mean, he's getting a heck of a lot of criticism. They Rob, you know, they got a few players back. Yeah, Sunday. six players back. No, right. that was that, that was the, they, yeah. the tipping point. I thought that that was going to push them on their way, especially against the Giants. I no, did. you would think, you would think, but now, I mean, and they got a tough schedule coming up, I believe. And so, if you know, he's another guy that Rob and I've always, you know liked his arm and you know you can't like I said you can't forget what he looked like when he let him was at 2017 when they were 11 and 2 but he just hasn't been that guy since then and uh the team is struggling a division that's there for the taking he had you know he had a couple had a nice little surge at the end of last year and right. maybe he'll do that again this year and they won but the right division now, right yeah right. right now he's struggling we you could go to RG3 you could go to Colin Kaepernick. RG3, as you know, was supposed to be the next it. Just, oh, let's just God. be honest. Remember they did his when he was rehabbing year. from his injury? and that we, I, we, I, we were both, I think, still at the old network. Yep. And they did like a three-hour special. special on his rehab. Like this dude was, you know, uh, uh, you know he, Tom he Brady had, or something. He had the number one jersey injury. sales in the NFL, if I remember, Chris. Uh you know, that he, that rookie year was unbelievable. You remember? Yeah. And I, I just think, look, now look, I think a guy like a Pat Mahomes is different. He's won a Super Bowl already. He's in, you know, he's got a great coach. And, you know, he's got everything in place. But for the most part, I mean, I love Joe Burrow. I love what I see from Justin Herbert. But you got to just be, you got to be patient, Right. I mean, and I think I'm not this looking for why a I'm always arguing. if I got those guys, but I'm just saying be patient. That's all. But this is why I'm always arguing about, uh, you know, being a prisoner of the moment. Like, you got to let it breathe a little bit. It's got to right. be, you know what I mean? Like, like you can't, you can't just um, act like, um, oh, yeah, well, this is it. I played three games, man. This NFL is easy. You know what I mean? Right. right. Yeah. It, it, it doesn't work like that. They get so, film on you, Rob. We know how it is. You we get talk about it. It's the you. adjustments. It's yep. the adjustment period. We've seen it with so many players. It ain't like you lost figuring out what you were doing, Chris. It's that they've watched enough tape of you now to figure out all your tendencies. What do you yep. do? Your strengths and weaknesses. You know this in the NBA, too. If a guy can, can't drive to the basket but can make a perimeter shot, Right? And you left them open all year. Guess what? No more perimeter shots. Yep. What are we going to do, Chris? We're going to make you go to the basket. Absolutely. Because we know you can't do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're not going to leave you open anymore. No more open looks. No, it, it's the truth. And I feel like, and, and like going back to Lamar, obviously teams have adjusted to some degree. They just lost to the Patriots last night in the Sunday night game. I, I, I don't make too in much. A I mean, still, rainstorm. Yeah, it was wow. crazy. And I'm, you know, we're not, we're same Northeast. It was crazy here. I mean, the wind was nuts. Was it? Yeah, it was, it was torrential rain and the wind was crazy. And you could just see from the TV, the cameras that it was crazy there, but I'm not going to make too much out of that. I mean, Baltimore is going to make the playoffs. They're going to be dangerous. They're not looking, they're not the best team in the AFC. That doesn't mean they couldn't win it, but they're not the best team in the AFC. But I'm not going to, you know, conclude that they're not that good and, and things like that. Um, but Lamar, I, I – teams have adjusted, and and I don't think – I don't – he's still a very good runner, but he's not doing what he did last year. 
And I think sometimes, you know, you you get a little older. Rob, in, in world-class sports, the difference between great and pretty good, not even good, but pretty good, is minuscule, right? It's a step. You lose a half a step, and now all of a sudden those guys you were shaking are getting are getting you down, you know what I mean, are tackling you. And I feel like I feel – I don't want to jump to con- conclusion too early. Like you said, prisoner of the moment goes both ways. But I don't feel like he's able to get away from guys quite like he did last year quite like he did last year, whether that's them adjusting, whether he's lost a half a tenth of a second right. or whatever off of his sport. Well, maybe time, it's you just know, the whatever. way that they're, they're defending him now, you right. know what I mean, knowing that we just, we're going to make you throw the football. That, that's, right. You know what I mean? Like, like you just make it into well, a... Well, and, and Faith, they don't have great receivers. Now, he's not going to come out and say that. And, and Hollywood Brown's okay, right? You know, the, the, the Will, Willie Sneed's okay. But they don't have a he don't have a DeAndre Hopkins. That's why he was throwing the ball <laughs> to Antonio Brown this past off season, right? Right, right. I'm serious. Like he don't remember? have a Stephon Diggs like Josh Allen. I mean, one of these. Look at the difference in Josh Allen and Kyler Murray. Not that they haven't improved, but when you're young, man, having one of those awesome receivers. Makes one of his receivers difference. from last year would not have made the play uh, DeAndre Hopkins made. Oh, no. yesterday. Oh no. All right, it oh, just no. wouldn't have happened, Chris. Period. Right. And you wouldn't be raving about Kyler Murray. They would have lost. You would have said Buffalo no came to, passes. Right. to right, came to Arizona, beat them, and Kyler Murray would have had under 200 yards passing, and they would have lost. Right. That's what would have happened. And instead of being 5-4 and four and still, you know, hoping to just make the playoffs, now they're 6-3, and three, and Murray's in the MVP discussion. Right. <laughs> and he's got a, you know, but that's that how Hale big of Murray a difference. Be, but be, you know, we'll be talking about that forever. But that's the difference, right there. Right. Just right. think about it. If you don't have a guy like that, and that's why when you do have it, and when you see guys put up numbers sometime without star receivers, it says a lot. It does. Well, I, I've always told you that's when I started thinking Brady could be the goat was when I saw him with Randy Moss because he had done it. He had won with. You know, pretty good. Let's just keep it real. Average receivers at best. But and then never at all had put up. You know, he wasn't like a huge numbers guy. I mean, numbers were pretty were were fine. But you know, he wasn't lighting it up. And then I saw him with Moss, and he he puts up these numbers like crazy. And it was like, man, this dude can do both win and put up numbers when he's got the right guy. So we got a lot of hot shot young quarterbacks, but um. Are they in for a comeuppance? Who do you think is uh, the most susceptible to being figured out very soon? All right, Chris, we have a uh, first-timer here on the uh, Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What about Matthew in Winnipeg? Wow. In Winnipeg. I didn't even know we were on in Winnipeg. What's up, Matthew? You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Stop it! (laughs) (laughs) This is ridiculous. You guys are burying Lamar. Do we not realize he's twenty five and six? We didn't. Nobody burying him. Stop. How did we bury him? You already know that. All we've right. All we said out. is he's, he's been figured out. He's has beating he not? good teams. Okay, he was figured out by Bill Belichick, the best coach in the world. He was what figured about out Kansas by Kansas City. Okay, again, another great coach. They just won the Super Bowl. Why Stop aren't it. his numbers close to what they were? Now again, I think he's still a very good quarterback. Don't get me wrong. And I, you know, Rob does, but. He's not putting up numbers even close to what he did last year. Throwing or running the football. Explain that. A little bit. He has to play him more games in his division and play the teams a second time. He's going to beat the good teams again. He already beat a few good teams with winning records. Colts, Browns, he's going to smash them again, the Browns, in the second time around. Maybe he gets a win over this undefeated Steelers team. You know, give them some time. Can we let it breathe, as Rob likes to say? There you Look go. You. Right. Thank you, Matthew, in Winnipeg. Chris, have you ever been to Winnipeg? Hey, no, they I've need been to Toronto and They Vancouver. need the blowtorch in Winnipeg, I bet, by now. Woo. You've been That's there? That's a cold place. No, I've never been. What cities have you been to in Canada? Most, most of them. You know, Montreal. Really? Have you been to Montreal? No. I oh, great beautiful. city. 
Feels like you're in Europe. Great city. Yeah. All right, let, let's go to uh, Lawrence in Orlando. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Lawrence? Not much, gentlemen. Thank you very much for having me. It's been a while yes. since I talked to you, so I'm very happy that you're, you're you guys are safe and doing well. You too, thank buddy. You, uh, you too. Thank you very much. Um, I think that Tua is going to be the next young quarterback who gets caught up, but it's not going to be this year. It'll be next year because of, because of his smaller sample size. He doesn't right. have a full season this year, so next right. year the first half of the season will be like the second half of his first season. It'll be easier for a little bit easier for teams to kind of pick up on him. Not now, how far of a drop off? Not quite sure about that, but I think next right. year two is going to be the one. Also, and, I have a and Lawrence, to you guys. go ahead, Lawrence. You, ask you quite a real question, quick question: How do you feel about um, a quarterback switch? Sam Darnold in Cleveland and Fitzpatrick in in New York. Thank you guys very much. Love you. Fitzpatrick. Love you, talk to you. you mean yeah. Mayfield? I assume he means Baker. I mean Fitzpatrick. I don't feel I I, I don't feel good about him anywhere. And I know nah, the, I'm done with I'm done know, with him. He, he's nice for four games. Right. I mean seriously, nah, I'm, I'm done with him. Right, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm with yeah. you. And, he's a stop. And, uh, yeah, if you're the Jets and you get the first pick, Chris, you get Lawrence and you put him in there. I mean, what are you Absolutely. waiting on? Absolutely. Let him learn Darnold, right there. You know, Darnold, look, Darnold he may be able to go somewhere else. He would. I, I, I don't know that they're ready to get rid of, rid of Baker. I mean, obviously, he didn't produce much offense against the Texans. But they've been struggling the last couple of weeks offensively. We yeah, look. they're 6-3, and three, though. If they make no, the I playoffs, know. you know. I mean, no, you're right. But, but Darnold, there's a place for Darnold. He, I believe he just needs to get in the right point, situation. Yeah. Right. Everybody who point, you I talk to, Chris. NFL people, they say he can play. It's, that, it's yeah. not like he can't play. Uh, Mark in Virginia, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Mark? Hi, guys. How you doing? Doing Great. good. How are you? All right. Another day in paradise. Yes, uh, sir. Your, your question, I guess, uh, you know, this, this guy that was last calling from Winnipeg, I, that doesn't really count. He's not in the United States. So <laughs> discard everything he said, okay? Uh, <laughs> Right. The bottom line is simple. The NFL has always been a, a quarterback league, no matter how you look at it. If you can't throw, if you can't throw, you've been found out. And that's the difference between Murray and, and, and Arizona and, and uh, the gentleman in Baltimore. Jackson, you know, I, hear, I hear you guys, and I'll say, shame on you. This is Trash Tuesday, but you keep saying, well, I think Lamar, he's really working on his passing game. I say, he came out of the, he's in the NFL, and he, he can't throw the ball? Jeez. He well, can, he, he, he can throw it. Skill. He he it's can throw it to skill. a certain degree. Well, uh, he, he, you know, if you can't throw by now, and you're they're forcing them to throw. So my answer is simple: when the person's been found out when they're forcing them to throw, and they can't rise to the occasion. And oh, by the way, did you see the weather in Cleveland yesterday and the week before? Worse than well, it yeah. was in uh, New England. You might want to check the the weather forecast there before you dish Baker Mayfield. I'm telling you, it was monsoon. Power in northeastern Ohio. Well, the out. last two, the last yeah, all two right. weeks. Then that, that's fair because the last two weeks up. they haven't been able right. to put any points together or very little, and I didn't see the weather forecast. So I, I it was I, been I, bad I, the last two weekends. If Baker wins, gets them to the playoffs, he's gonna be. You know, they're not gonna replace him. All right, and so he'll be fine. Um, look, Rob. The fact is, we have not seen a running quarterback win big consistently in NFL. We've seen him have a good season here and there. Michael Vick had a few good seasons. But his best season in Philly, he was throwing the football. You remember that. Right. Um, so, I agree with you. That's why I said I'd take Murray over Jackson. But Jackson's not broken. You know, he, he throws it. He, what he, the passes he makes, he throws it fairly well. He's just limited. But we talked about that. Maybe it's the, the difference might be a great receiver. Uh, can we squeeze in Mark from Sacramento? Yep. yep, let's do it. Mark, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, man? Hey guys, that how, wasn't you. how you guys doing today? <laughs> doing great. It gets me every time. I know. <laughs> uh, uh, real quick, I think it's – and I like Joe Burrow. I think it's going to be Joe Burrow just because he lives <laughs> in a division where the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Baltimore Ravens live. And those, he sees those guys twice a year. Those are the guys that are going to figure him out quicker than anybody else. Those two defenses in that division, yeah, it'll well, be Burroughs that want to figure it out. In, that's in my a heck opinion, of a I division. Think, I think. That's a heck of a I'm division. I'm sorry? That's a heck of a division. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, well, those, Cleveland's not yeah, a those de- Yeah, exactly. There's some good defenses there. Hey, Chris, hey, real quick, I like Murray, and I don't want you to think I'm dis- dissing him because he thinks. You can see the young man thinking. 
Right. But now you know. Now you know why I said all you got to do. You don't have to throw the ball to Hopkins. You just got to get it near him. And those big hands, he gets his hands on know. him, catching it. I mean, it. yeah. That, that dude is, yeah, he's different. I no, that he's catch the best receiver catch. in the league. We that, were talking that about catch that. was unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, that, when Devontae but, Adams said he's the best, I said I think it's Hopkins. You know, but uh, not to miss Adams, but, yeah, that, that showed you there.